Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today, we're proud to announce that LaunchBox 11 has been released. Like with all new releases, we have some new improvements, some fixes, and some new features. If you're interested in taking a look at the change log, I will leave a link in the description. All the fixes, improvements, and new features are listed here. But in this video, we're going to go over some of the more notable ones. We're going to start it off right now with the first new feature. OBS Studio integration has been added to LaunchBox 11. This is going to easily allow you to record your videos and automatically assign them to your games. We have made a full tutorial on how to set this up, and it's actually pretty easy to get OBS Studio up and running in LaunchBox. I definitely recommend checking that video out because it does go hand in hand with the next new feature. Multiple videos can now be associated with your games and videos are now categorized under four categories. Video snap, theme video, trailer, and recording. And like I mentioned, this goes hand in hand with OBS. We're gonna head over to LaunchBox now and I'll just give you a quick look at this. I'm gonna go to Genesis, Altered Beast. If I right click here, go to Edit, Videos. You can see we now have a new section here. We have the type of video and a path to the video. So this is a recording I made with OBS for Altered Beast. It automatically associated it with this game. I also have a video snap that was downloaded when I imported my games. But I want to add a trailer video, so I'm going to go ahead and add video. And I just have a video stored over here. We're going to categorize it as trailer, and that's it. We now have a new video associated with this game here, and you can do it with each game. It's really easy to deal with, and this is an awesome way to add new media to your favorite games. Next on the list for new features, you can now take screenshots that will automatically be associated with your games, kind of like the screen recording with OBS, but instead we can use controller automation or keyboard automation to do this while we're playing a game to take a screenshot. And to get this set up properly, we're going to head over to our tools, options, screen capture, and we can set up a screen capture key. Now you can use controller automation if you want to do this, but most of the time I'm really busy with all the buttons on my controller. So I usually just use my keyboard. So my screen capture key is going to be F11. Just keep in mind that RetroArch cannot be screen captured reliably using this method right now. But RetroArch has its own section to take a screenshot. If we go into the quick menu, we can take a screenshot or we can press the F8 hotkey, which is automatically set up with RetroArch. And once that's done, LaunchBox will attempt to grab that screenshot we took from within RetroArch. So just keep that in mind. If you're using standalone emulators, you shouldn't have any issues at all. I'm going to go ahead and choose OK. I'm going to go with GameCube here. And I'm going to start up a game real quick and we'll take a screenshot. So we'll go with Soul Calibur 2. And once I'm in the gameplay, I can just press my screenshot button, which was set up as F11. It's going to automatically take that screenshot in the background for me. I can now exit, and as you can see, LaunchBox is going to ask me if I want to save that screenshot for this specific game, which was Soul Calibur 2. I'll choose yes, and we now have a new screenshot that we've set up. If you want to view this screenshot, we can go back to our edit section, or we can just view images, choose images, and we'll scroll through till we see that new screenshot. And there we have it. It's just a new way to add screenshots to your games. And finally, for the new features, which isn't something I'm going to demo because this does take a little while, but the cleanup media process has a new option to scan images for rough matches. This can take a long time when you do your cleanup, but it can save a lot of disk space. It's going to scan each image and find matching images, even if they're different sizes, different fade effects, and things like that. It's going to choose the largest duplicate image to keep, and the rest are going to be listed for deletion. And this works for images downloaded from the LaunchBox Games database and EMU movies. So yeah, this could definitely save a lot of space, but it does take some time to complete. And kind of going along with the roughly matched duplicate images, a new option has been added to the download media and import process to remove roughly matched duplicate images when you're importing them. So this should reduce the need to run that cleanup media process because all of the unnecessary duplicates will be removed during the import media process. But yeah, that's about it for the new features. There's also some fixes and improvements. I urge you to check out the change log. And I think my favorite here is definitely the OBS Studio integration. Like I mentioned, we have a full tutorial video. Link will be at the top of the description so you can check that out. But this is pretty awesome because it allows you to easily capture gameplay and save it to a specific game. It'll save in your LaunchBox folder. You can also save it in another location if you'd like to. 
But that's it for this one. We really appreciate you watching and hope you enjoy LaunchBox 11. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below in this video or you can head over to the LaunchBox forums. But like always, thanks for watching.